The release of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was the most successful opening night for any entertainment product ever. With over 6.5 million copies sold in the first 24 hours, and Activision earning $400 million in revenue overnight from sales in the United States and the United Kingdom, the award-winning franchise is the entertainment equivalent of Mike Tyson. These results are not without their grounds, however. Modern Warfare 3 is one of the best shooters this year. It upholds Call of Duty's reputation for smooth gunplay, a thrilling single-player campaign, and incredibly addictive multiplayer. This is not to say the game is perfect. While Modern Warfare 3 is excellent, it does not innovate on its wildly successful formula. The single-player campaign is very similar to Modern Warfare 2, and the multiplayer simply gives players new maps, unlocks, and game modes. While it does not break new ground, Modern Warfare 3 is the most polished and fully featured Call of Duty yet. The single player campaign picks up right where the last Modern Warfare left off. The United States and Russia are embroiled in a war on the East Coast and Captain Price and Soap McTavish, the two main protagonists of the Modern Warfare series, are trying to hunt down the war's instigator, Vladimir Makarov. The story puts the players in the shoes of a number of different soldiers around the globe, including an SAS commando and a Russian Secret Service agent. While the plot's twists and turns can be difficult to follow, Modern Warfare 3's storyline is a marked improvement over its predecessor. Even though the five-hour campaign is action-packed and well-developed, I found myself becoming fatigued from the plot's constant stream of pitched battles. While the game's developer, Infinity Ward, tried to pace the action by including stealth and vehicle-oriented missions, the gameplay of these segments wasn't different enough to give me a second win. Should players get tired of mowing down endless hordes of Russian soldiers, the series' signature multiplayer provides an excellent distraction. With standard adversarial multiplayer, cooperative spec ops mode, and the new survival mode, Modern Warfare 3 is going to keep shooter junkies addicted for months. The game includes a total of 16 maps that can be played with all of the game's modes, including survival. While I haven't had time to play the cooperative modes extensively, survival and spec ops are great additions to the game. Modern Warfare 3 is a must-buy for fans of the series. The single player is satisfying and the multiplayer will keep players coming back for more well into next year. However, if you were bored with the Call of Duty formula after Modern Warfare 2, it's unlikely that the newest installment will change your mind. Modern Warfare 3 earns a 4 out of 5. For the Daily Titan, this is Anders Hellman.